everybody and happy Thanksgiving. I am recording this Wednesday night, but tomorrow when I upload it will be Thanksgiving and I hope all of you are enjoying your Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I still hope you're having a great day. Um, I recorded that last video that I posted earlier today, Wednesday, and then I had to run to the grocery store and right down the road from the grocery store are the few dumpsters that I checked daily that I didn't check earlier. I said, well, I might as well just check them since I'm out. And the office supply dumpster was loaded with goodies. Again, I did not record because uh, it was raining. At this point, it was actually like raining, raining. So I had to come home and change my whole outfit because I was soaking wet. <laughs> my shoes are still soaking wet. Uh, I wear my tennis shoes when I dive, so those are drying out. But I had to come home and change. I had to get in this dumpster because they threw everything in the back. But luckily for me, they didn't destroy anything. I mean, it got rained on a little bit, but they didn't do that. The weather did that. So I'm going to get right in this haul because it's a lot of stuff, and I want to show you all of it. So uh, the first thing I've seen was actually one of these. And it's this cute little gold, uh, like a paper, paper filer. Ugh, if I could talk. Uh, as Shannon says, words are hard. <laughs> Shannon over at Dumpster Diving Mama of Two. Uh, she says, words are hard. And I always think it's funny when she says that, but there was two of those, and there were two of this style, like uh, file organizers. Those are really cute. Uh, they're like glam style. Uh, I'm not sure. I never heard of this. I'm not, I don't buy office supplies, so Dwell Studio. I found a lot of that. I found a lot of Martha Stewart and uh, Cynthia Rowley. So I don't know. Maybe you guys know or heard of them. Um, I think that I heard uh, Steph from uh, Stephen and Steph talk about Cynthia Rowley the other day. But I don't know. I don't buy office supplies like that. I usually get mine at the dollar store <laughs> or in the dumpster. So, But there was this pair of socks in there that I'm going to give to my brother-in-law. He likes drinking, and so he can have some beer socks to wear while he's doing that. And there was a bunch of, like, um, uh... I forget what you would call it. Anyway, the stuff for the computer, the disc for the computer, a bunch of different kinds. I accidentally grabbed this one. I don't normally grab these because I don't use them, and um, I don't know anybody who does. If my dad was still alive, I would have grabbed them all, and I'm sure he would know exactly what to do with them and who to give them to. <laughs> but I don't, and I don't really sell anything like that online I don't even know it's like 2020 so is there going to be a new one coming out and this one will be obsolete and then I would just have garbage sitting around I don't know I left them for the next guy the last time they threw anything like this away they took it all out of the cases and scratched them broke them everything else so I was surprised to see that like I said they didn't damage anything because they normally do so too bad they didn't throw a chair out today. Maybe they will tomorrow. <laughs> uh, anyway, there was three phone cases in there. I only have two here. My son already took one. It was like black and gold, and it looked like it had gold splatters of paint on it, and then the edge was um, gold as well. So he took that one. It fit his phone. He has a 6S. And this one says, Beauty is in the iPhone of the beholder. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. And then this real cute one, it makes me wish I had an iPhone although I don't think I ever will own one. Um, but it, it's real cute, and it's for iPhone 8 Plus. So I will probably donate those. I don't, I'll don't. i ask my sister-in-law before I do, because they might have iPhones down at her house. And these were actually one of the first things I've seen, too. It was these command hooks, and I thought, well, I can always use those. I was actually just looking for some of these the other day for my husband. So moving on. There are a bunch of these in there. I wasn't sure what they were. But I grabbed them, and they're like little, uh, like repositional, repositionable drink markers that you put on your drink, so that you know which one is your drink. So that's really, really cute. We always talked about doing something like that. So I found one, two, three, four, six of those, and there was still stuff in there, guys, that I left behind. I was soaking wet and tired. I was already tired from the last dive. And I was just supposed to run up and grab biscuits from the store. <laughs> and I spent a lot more time gone than I was supposed to anyway. So I did leave some stuff. Like I said, that's where I see the other lady diver. Um, so I know that she'll get some stuff. And I know there's other divers. I've seen other divers in, in there too. So maybe they'll find some of the stuff. But I found these um, 
pen refills, which I wasn't going to grab at first, but then I found these uh, pens, so I thought these might fit into there. I'll have to look into that and see. But there was these Martha Stewart writing pens. One is missing, but the other two are still good and in there. So those are real pretty and cute. And there was a real pretty gold stapler. It matches with the rest of the stuff. And then this one was in there. And this one actually can staple up to 20 sheets at a time. <laughs> so it's a really, a really nice stapler. I still haven't found any staples, so maybe one day I will. Oh, I'm missing something. Oh, well, I'll find it in a minute. And then I found these. I've seen these rail sets in there, and I grabbed one. I thought, well, I don't know what they're for. Maybe they're drawer slides or something. But they actually, I don't know if they have a picture. Yeah, you hang the rails on the wall, and then you can hang all these other things, like this right here. It has a little hook there, and you hang it on there, and it can keep all your accessories and whatnot. Um, I found five of the rails, and I found three of these. Uh, three of these ones, um, two of the smaller storage cups for like pens or whatever. Uh, four packs of these hooks, and then three of these smartphone holders that all hang on those rail systems. So I told my husband, I said, well, it's too bad my craft room's in the basement. I can't really screw those rails into the concrete wall down there but I might figure out a situation for um, where I can hang them down from the rafters or, or the floor joists and I also do know somebody who recently got a new home office if you're watching this video and you want some of this stuff let me know I'm not sure if you can have it um, screwed into the wall like that where you live but if you want any let me know send me an email uh, I found a bunch of these I guess they're pen cases Again, the Cynthia Rowley. And this one's still like in the packaging. You can see it still bit from the rain. So there's this gold set. I don't know if they're a set or not, but they're both gold, so I stuck them together. I found three of these. Again, they're just pencil cases or whatever. I guess you could use them for makeup if you wanted to. And there's this one. I wonder. Oh, yeah. Looks like maybe it was supposed to have a planner to get attached to a planner. It says the Happy Planner. But I don't know. Maybe one of these planners will fit in there. I'll have to look into it. It might be this one right here that matches. I don't know. And there were two of these um, like portfolio type medium wrap pouches. So you pull that top string out of there and it opens up like a little clutch purse. And there are two smaller ones, and they match together. They're all real cute. And don't mind my must back there. Yes, I still have all my stuff from a dive a while back. <laughs> my husband just yelled at me to get it out of the garage. Well, not yelled at me. He doesn't yell at me. We've been together going on 21 years, and uh, rarely ever do we fight. People probably think that we hate each other because the way that we talk to each other, but it's just our way of showing our love. <laughs> we call each other names and everything, but actually I can't remember the last time that we had a fight. So thank God for that. I'll knock on wood. Thank God. Uh, we met in middle school, so we kind of grew up together and learned each other. Uh, anyway, I found a bunch of these journals. I was just going through and making up Christmas baskets for my nieces and nephews, and I was going through all those pens that I got penny shopping. And I had them notebooks I found at this store last year, so I stuck those in there, but I might uh, stick one of these in there as well so that they have a little journal. This one's just blank pages. It doesn't even have lines on it. So that's cute. They can make doodles and stuff. This one is lined. I found two of the blue ones. Uh, one gold one. One of these gray ones. This one's a small one. And then you guys seen this one. It says yes on it. And this one is like gray and gold. And they're all really, really nice. Like this one's like a hard book hardcover um, so I'll see if my nieces want them I tried to save them from the rain as quickly as I could once I got in the dumpster I just kind of had to make a pile though um, but it looks like most of them managed to get out unharmed this says travel light live light be the light I found four of these uh, they're like a rose gold color they're real pretty they're lined 
rose gold embossed. And then these ones are real cute. They're like they're also like a hard book cover. They say big big ideas, and they have like gold edged pages. And they're just little line pages. They're kind of ripply from the water, but I found three of those. And they're like a a shiny. And then there's more pencil cases. These are the Cynthia Rowley ones. They still have like the foam stuff in them. And there's these gold ones. I found three of those. And then I see other divers find these and they don't know what they're for. And I'm going to tell you because I found them before and I thought, well, what the heck is that for? And it is for pages like this. And they just pop around the outer ring of these. And so you can expand your notebook. You can They sell smaller ones and bigger ones. Um, they're the heavy planner. So like if you had small rings and a small binder, but you wanted to add more pages, you can just buy the bigger ones and um, make your planner bigger. So it's pretty nice. It's like an expanding planner or notebook or whatever. Uh, these are interchangeable poly cover sets. So I'm not sure. It's like a thick something. I thought they were just pages. And this is letter size paper. It's just like a green, nice paper. So if you find those, you know what they're for. The reason I found them and knew what they were for is I found them detached from the notebook and figured they went together. Um, you know, there's this little like teacher happy planner. See, I can use those rings for this. Uh, and it just has all, all of these little goodies so that a teacher can uh, make a planner. Teachers change the world one child at a time. I wonder if my son's teacher will want this. Or I know a couple of his friend's parents are teachers, so maybe I will see if they want them. But there was one folder. <laughs> Two folders. This one is like a uh, like you turn in your project. And a nice sheet. There was a little dry erase marker board. Has the magnets in the back. It did not have the marker, but I found lots of markers. And then there was this Canon card size. has the sheets and the ink. So I am going to see if my sister wants this. She's a photographer. I'm not sure. I don't have any use for it. I don't use the ink like that, so I'm not sure. Uh, usually I find these empty in there. But there was... Uh, Envelopes in here is it ten envelopes? Yeah, ten envelopes. Just regular envelopes, I guess. There must be, yeah, they're a little bit nicer quality envelopes. Must go along with the ten sheets of paper. And then this box was in there. It's like a file box. The back of the lid was broken, and it's a little bit wet inside from the rain, but it will dry out. So, wow, two big hauls in one day. I had to actually bring a tote. In from the house or out from the house to carry everything into the garage so I can make a video. I'm working on cleaning my house for Thanksgiving tomorrow, and my husband's working on cleaning the garage for Thanksgiving tomorrow so that we can have our wood stove. You see how he's got it going? We can have that going to keep us warm when we want to come out. I am, like I said before, I'm a smoker, and most of my family is smokers too. So when we come out, we can be warm. Uh, but yeah, not too crazy of a haul, or too shabby of a haul. <laughs> uh, a lot of good things. I don't have a home office like this. Um, I, like I said, I do know that one person, and if she wants any, she can send me an email and let me know, and we can figure something out. Uh, otherwise, I'll probably see what I can use and uh, put some as gifts and probably donate the rest. Um, my basement is getting full. The place where I normally donate is not taking any donations right now. They're over full, so I'm going to have to look into a different place to donate um, that will take stuff like this anyway. The place I normally donate to takes everything except for like any sort of liquids or foods. So like no shampoos and things like that. No like personal hygiene products and no foods. Um, other than that, it's game on for them. So... Uh, but they're not taking anything right now because they're full. But anyway, enough of that. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get put in on that mystery giveaway. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.